Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We're here once again at the Panettone Cafe. Uh, Of course, always great breakfast here in the center of town and excellent coffee. So uh, if you're ever in center of Warsaw, pop on by the uh, Panettone Cafe for some nice, uh, nice breakfast here in the mornings. Uh, anyway, we're kicking off this Monday morning. Uh, a lot going on. Winston, great to see you. Nice weekend here in Warsaw and Very probably nice most weekend. of Central Europe, yeah? Probably, yeah. The weather's yeah. pretty good here, so yeah. I hope the rest of Europe had it. Exactly. So great to have Panettone sponsoring us uh, this week. And uh, let us know what's happening on the... Um, on the uh, highlights of the news to kick off this week. Sure. So uh, Salida Capital and One Asset Management have selected uh, construction firm Pekabex for a student housing project they're doing in Warsaw. Uh, Aliol Bank has granted Panettone Finance for a Trilux factory. Uh, Harden has built a factory for Samsung Electronics in Poland. And uh, One United Properties has made a land purchase in Bucharest. All right, so a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of thing, a lot of a lot of bits coming up. This a uh, lot of highlights for this Monday and kicking things off. Well, we have a lot going on. This week is our last week to uh, get signed up for our SCE awards in uh, in Bucharest. Uh, the event is on Wednesday next week, so we're just ten days away. If you haven't already signed up you're doing anything in Southeastern Europe, come join us. Uh, a lot happening, a lot of nominations. I see record number of nominations, record number of uh, jury members, a lot of new sponsors. Turkey, Turkey involved now. Yeah, it's a lot. So I think we're almost ready to go, yeah. New con- new uh, new country involved. So uh, so come join us on the Wednesday in uh, in Bucharest at the beautiful Athene Palace Hotel, newly remodeled and run by the uh, Intercontinental. Straight after that, we have our um, Baltic Real Estate Awards up in Sopot, the Tri City area in Poland. A lot come, a lot of uh, investors, developers coming up from, uh, of course, from Warsaw, uh, around the region there in northern Poland, and of course the the Nordics and the Baltics. A uh, lot happening there. So great place to meet some some new people and uh, some new sponsors as well coming from there. So uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So, Winston, it looked like you had a lot of news, so let's just ju- take a break, and then we'll jump right in with the news, yeah? So welcome back from the break, and uh, Winston, let us know what's going on on the news. Right, so for Monday morning, we have uh, the news starting in Warsaw, Poland, and Sleda Capital, and one asset manager has selected a construction firm, Pekabex, to build a purpose-built student housing project located in the Mokotov district of Warsaw. It's a 7,500 square metre mm. facility for, for students and young professionals, so it's, it's also co-living type mm. accommodation. Very nice. And uh, it'll have around 360 60 beds, and according to Yaho Sarako, Managing Director at Salida Capital, he says, um, Pekabek's reputation for excellence and innovation aligns perfectly with our vision for this development, and we are confident that their expertise will play a crucial role in bringing our vision to life. And um, Matthias Mokolinius, student housing fund partner at One Asset Management, continues, we have chosen prefabrication technology for this PVSA project as it speeds up the construction process, reducing it from 18 to 20 months to around 15 months. And uh, construction is expected to be completed in the third quarter of 2025. Well, that's the the second press release I think we got in the last week from Solida. So they're yeah. doing quite a lot. Yeah, they're, pretty, they're quite active. Pretty busy. busy yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. busy. Yeah, I mean this uh, this student accommodation has a lot of news been trickling in about that. But mm-hmm. the, uh, obviously last week they acquired an office project in the center of right, uh, right. Russell, which they will be renovating. So yeah, busy busy so, time for them. Yeah. So office PBSA everything's clicking. Seems to be, yeah. Good. Uh, moving on and going to the industrial logistics sector, and Panettone's been granted financing by the Alio Bank to uh, to develop a factory for Trilux, which is a global lighting expert. Uh, the loan, which is around €18,300, uh, will build a 23,000 square metre 
uh, factory, which will form part of Trilux's strategy for sustainable development. How much uh, was the how much was the loan? Three hundred thousand euros. Oh, okay, 18, eighteen million. 18 million. million. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was, sorry. I was losing yeah. track. Just I thought sure. eighteen thousand sounded like a good deal for twenty three thousand. Yeah, sure listening. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. good. Yeah, eighteen million. Taught so. me early. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a cheap one. <laughs> I, I listen to you sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, this uh, this uh, it's it's part of their sustainable uh, development, mm-hmm. and um, it's hope hope that it will shorten transportation to their European customers, and uh, it will reduce the company's uh, carbon footprint. Mm-hmm. Oh, great! And Big the building project. is to under, undergo a BREAM certificate certificate for excellent rating. Uh, staying in the uh, warehouse and logistics business and uh, general contractor Harden Construction has completed a production warehouse hall for Samson Electronics. It's around 63,000 square metres. And the new factory will house new lines for the production of household appliances. And according to Pavel uh, Fucek, Managing Director at Harden, uh, this facility is due to its purpose and the technology solutions introduced required us to learn very precisely about the specific nature of the future activities that will be conducted there and this facility is also uh, set to obtain a Briam Excellent Certificate. Mm-hmm. Well, Harden always doing a lot. Yeah, seem yeah they've, they've they're doing quite a bit now. A lot, as well, of, yeah. lot of projects, a lot, lot of projects on the go, and mm-hmm. they're, they're delivering a lot of projects. Yeah. And uh, finally, for today, moving to Romania and Romanian developer One United Properties has uh, purchased a 21 hectare land plot in Bucharest, and the company plans to start a new residential development that will feature around 5,000 homes. Uh, the land was purchased from Ima Finance Romania, Romania, which is part of the CPI Property Group. And uh, according to Victor Capitanu, co-CEO of United Properties, uh, this move is a strategic response to our to market trends and the increasing call for sustainable, accessible living options. Yeah, I mean, on the residential side, it seems like One United has really been doing a lot. Yeah, yeah, this is a substantial, um, substantial uh, land land purchase, as you see, mm-hmm. twenty one hectares. So, uh, yeah, obviously a need for a lot of living accommodation. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, maybe we can move to Bucharest with those kind of nice places. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for all watching the Coffee with Craig show this Monday. A lot going on. Like I said, sign up for our SCE Awards in Romania. A lot's happening there, covering the region. If you're doing anything in southeastern Europe. And uh, then we're straight up to the Polish Riviera, um, May 23rd for the Baltics uh, Real Estate Awards and Forum. So covering northern Poland, uh, of course, Pomeran- all of Pomerania, Szczecin, a uh, bit of, bit of uh, Germany, uh, Denmark, and all the Nordics. So enjoy your weekend, enjoy the week, and we will see you tomorrow, Tuesday morning, with the news. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.